Mercedes haven't had the start of the season they wanted. It's been nowhere near as bad as last year. But after their race win at the end of 2022, the team expected to be fighting Red Bull this year. Nonetheless, the team has accepted to have made mistakes over the course of the winter break and are aiming to improve the W14 with its long-awaited Imola upgrade package. Toto Wolff said that a completely different car is coming. While the returning technical director James Allison has provided his insights on the upgrades, which suggests otherwise. Want to find out more on what Allison said about the W14's Imola upgrades? Then stick around for the rest of the video. Mercedes under the technical leadership of Mike Elliott, chose to stick with its unique narrow side pods designed for this year's W14 Challenger. The team expected to make a huge jump in terms of performance, which would enable them to catch Red Bull in the front of the field. Well, that's what the wind tunnel data and the simulators suggested. But at Bahrain, that was proven wrong. Not only were the silver arrows massively off the pace, they were jumped by one of their customer teams in terms of raw pace. Results from the Bahrain Grand Prix made the team realize that the concept the team has followed on is not the way to pursue, and that dramatic changes is required to get the team on the winning path once more. This has been the talk around Mercedes since Bahrain, and is the talk till now. Toto Wolff has spoken about the planned upgrades for the W14 at Azerbaijan. Wolff did talk about managing expectations regarding the performance uplift the upgrades will provide, but also did mention that the team will work on full force to close the gap to Red Bull. The target for the upgrade is Imola but I need to manage everybody's expectations, Wolff said last weekend. We are talking so much about the upgrade but we are not going to put it down on the track and drive circles around Red Bull. The zero pod design, which many thought would be the key to their rebirth, will apparently be eliminated in the new model. And that is what Lewis Hamilton would be very much expecting to happen as the star Mercedes driver provided his thoughts about his expectations for the Amola upgrade package. Hamilton mentioned that the team is positive about the upgrades which are about to arrive and the team is counting the days to make the upgrade happen on a positive manner. So, everyone's staying positive in the garage, everyone's just doing their job to the best of their ability and that's all we can ask for right now until we get those upgrades, which will hopefully put us much more in the fight. I think we knew already from quite early on that we would have quite a few races until this upgrade, he explained. So, it's just counting the days down or counting the weeks down. We don't currently quite know exactly how good the upgrade will be, we know it will be the start of something new for us. Everyone wants to see Mercedes conjure up something entirely different, and they do expect the returning technical director James Allison to make a new car. But is it going to happen? Well, apparently not. Allison has insisted the team will not return to the drawing board when designing next year's Formula One car. Despite the fact that Toto Wolff and his drivers insisting a new car is necessary to fight for race wins again, the new technical director disagrees. Allison believes that making a complete change would be an entire waste, and he is considering to imply the knowledge they have on their current concept. I don't think any of us would ever consider a wholesale revamp clean sheet a good or prosperous approach, he said in Friday's press conference in Baku. If the rules change, then of course you have to change with them, but engineering is about iteration. And, in all likelihood, if you tear things up, and I am going to mix metaphors horrifically here, but you are going to just throw away an awful lot of baby along with a small amount of bathwater. That's a very informative description from James Allison, but I believe it makes sense. If the silver arrows go all the way back to the drawing board and try to replicate another team's car, they're gonna lose a lot of good stuff that they've learned from the current car concept. When the regulations get rewritten in 2026, they can start a fresh concept. But doing that now, that will lead to the team wasting a lot of good stuff they've been working on for years now. All of these cars, from the top to the bottom of the grid, are unbelievably good cars and it is merely a question of how competitive are you. Are you the best in the whole world? And you are going to use the platform you have and you're going to choose the paths forward that allow it to get better in the fastest possible way. And almost never, in fact never, would you ever tear things up and say, no, enough with that, let's change and do something completely different. This is a huge change of plans from the Mercedes team. For months now, Toto has given the impression that the W14's concept was dead. But after just a few weeks back in the team as technical director, James Allison has completely changed the Mercedes plan. To be honest, what Toto knows about designing a Formula 1 car is just the tip of the iceberg when compared with the knowledge that James Allison has. Clearly, Allison has seen something with the data of the current car concept that makes him think it isn't worth giving up on yet. The basics and fundamentals of the current car were of Allison's design. So maybe, he was able to see something with the current car concept which Mike Elliott was not able to figure out properly. Either way, it's a pretty shocking change of plan from the Brackley-based squad. Anyway, an upgrade plan is in motion. And I am pretty sure that Allison is monitoring all, as the team did bring some upgrades to Azerbaijan. 
Mercedes have brought several upgrades to the Azerbaijan Grand Prix including a new rear suspension, rear and plate and front and rear corner. Allison mentioned the motive of the upgrades is to improve the downforce generation and balance of the car. We'll be trying to add downforce to the car and try not to add too much drag for the downforce we're adding, Allison revealed. We will also be trying to improve the balance of the car. I think there isn't a car out there with a perfect balance, and ours is very much less than perfect. We'll be trying to work on that aerodynamically and in terms of platform control with the suspension. But there is no great revelation there, all the things that will make our car faster would make every car on the grid faster. The trick is to try to make sure we're bringing them quickly enough that we make a relative improvement on our competitors. But there's no magic to that. How do you Mercedes fans feel about Allison's perspective of the Amola upgrade package? Are you worried that Mercedes are just making the same mistakes again? Or do you believe in what James Allison is capable of to extract from the W14? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section down below. We'd love to discuss it with you. And on your way down, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified of our future uploads to keep yourselves up to date about the 2023 Formula 1 season.